your career is a journey you start as soon as you graduate and you end the day you retire probably not even retire right that's how your journey is that's how your career is but throughout your career you will face highs and lows highs will be very exhilarating it's like driving a racing car at 200 kilometers per hour that's the kind of kick you get but the lows are so demotivating that you feel like just quitting and giving up it has happened to me it happens to a lot of researchers a lot of scientists so today i am going to tell you this entire journey why i'm going to tell you because if you already know where you are going to have a low and where you already know when you will have a high you will never make a mistake when you are high you will never make a mistake when you are low it's like a google map so this basically this video is a google map of your entire life science research career right so watch till the end and we'll start quickly assuming that you are a graduate 22 year old graduate and you're just getting started right you got started now getting started is very tough so that's the low right getting started understanding the nuances of a new organization probably a new college new ways of studying new ways of doing things and then comes assignments practical records and the education system who tr which tries to just keep you busy right so that will be a low you will struggle you will hustle you will tr try hard and then suddenly you will be in the lab and you will be doing experiments and you will start enjoying oh i enjoy doing this experiment i enjoy my biochemistry lab i enjoy my cell biology lab so you will enjoy right, molecular biology and genetics so you will enjoy doing experiments you will identify your passion now this is a high this is a high so you are enjoying the passion maybe whichever subject it is you're enjoying and then you will be like okay i enjoy this subject so now let me go for an internship so you, that will be even a high enthusiastic mode that you are doing an internship in a company right and then there will be a chance to publish paper right slightly challenging but again you'll enjoy that process and then you will realize that okay since this is my passion and now i have narrowed down to a particular subtopic of this particular subject so let me do a certification on that say space biology or say um molecular biology or crispr or gene editing so you know you'll do a certification right so till this time this is high now comes the time of low by the time you have crossed your graduation you are in post graduation right so now you will start getting rejected so you try to publish a paper you got rejected you tried to give an interview for a job you got rejected and then you said okay i'll go for the masters right so now in during your masters you'll start preparing for csa and at and gate and other things so exams exams will be a low point you will face challenges you'll face failure so that failure will be like you feel like quitting like you like okay let's not do it right let's just quit everything and go to some other field and that's what you will see a lot of uh, people on internet who will write this uh, is bad that is bad because they are passing through their valley of disappointment they are passing through a low point in their career and they don't know how to get out of it and that is where they will just go and suggest you that this field is not good but the truth is they were in the valley of disappointment when they said that right so now comes the entrance exam and then uh, okay you qualified assuming you qualified so you will now join phd now phd is challenging very challenging right and that is where you'll need help and throughout whatever i said all your highs and low biotechnica i and rasayanica will always be there but my point here is when you will start your PhD, joining PhD itself is tough. You have to pass through interviews. You have to uh, select the right personal investigator, PI, and then do your uh, PhD under him for the next five years or four years. And then, you know, selecting a topic again, that will be exhilarating. Like, okay, you have so many topics, you will enjoy. Okay, should I choose this one? Should I choose that one? So, you know, that will be very nice. And then you will really start doing research in your PhD. That part will be a very high um, part of your career. You'll enjoy and then you will go ahead and uh, prepare your thesis you'll uh, publish some papers and then your phd will get awarded and all that will be like wow great awesome congratulations now you can put a doctor against your name so all that will be very high and then you'll start applying for jobs so the enthusiasm starts coming down you apply for jobs getting you get rejected right you then decide okay you will go for a postdoc because you're passionate so now you are still excited but the moment you join postdoc, there'll be targets, right? There'll be funding uh, which will not be there. You have to write research proposals. Probably you will start your own lab and then all that stress will start piling up, right? And this will be a low point. Now, this will be a low point. So this low point, what happens next? You will get rejected. You will face rejections in funding. You will face, face rejection in, when you're trying to set up a lab. You'll face rejection when you're trying to hire someone uh, for your lab and all that will start piling up, right? And then finally, you successfully, you will finish your postdoc. And then you'll be like, okay, let me look for a job and you will search for a job. And when you will search for a job, again, this will be uncertainty, right? So these are all lows. You will be like upset. 
yeah it's back then finally you one day get a job as a scientist and you uh, start doing research you uh, you know file for patents and gain gain some patent finally you are settled in your life and that will be high right but once you are in a job of course there will be targets and you miss out on the targets so there will be highs and lows the reason entire reason of telling you all this today is you see throughout your life it is acceptable fact to have highs and lows when you are studying there will be highs and lows there will be points which you will enjoy there will be some things which you will hate it's like you know uh, many of you hate maths and you love biology that's why you are in biology or you know that's that's how so you always have you always had a subject in your career which you hated but you still had to study it right the same way you will have to pass through the journey no matter whether it is a high or low right and that is something which i want to tell you and also all the people who will who will come to you and say that there is no job there is no scope there is no future they are in their low side of the valley of disappointment so if you start listening to those people who stayed stuck in the valley of disappointment you'll never move forward so your journey ends that and then and there right so don't stop your journey by, by just listening to some naysayers some negative people instead keep moving know that there will be lows there will be highs you have to just keep moving forward but there is always light at the end of the tunnel let me give you example when pandemic came we all felt that it will never end right but today i'm sitting in a non pandemic era we we are walking without masks right we keep listening okay the pandemic may come back and stuff but it's not coming right now right so there is always a end of the tunnel you have to just keep going just keep moving forward if you can't fly then run if you can't run then crawl if you can't crawl then still keep moving 1% forward that's how you win that's how the journey keeps moving forward so all the best in your journey and if you need any kind of guidance just comment below and reach out to me at shekhar@biotechnica.org i know by 2047 you'll be an established scientist in this domain probably a nobel prize winner or something and then you'll remember whatever i told you today so thank you so much for watching see you soon in the next one till then take care namaskar bye bye